It doesn't even make sense Why I think about you It was only one night Only that time And it's not my style To be caught up in the middle like this Cause now I dream about you I was probably too drunk to worry But I've got the image of you On in circles in my mind right now And it could fade away But it probably won't So we've just arrived in France. The California has been right at the back of the boat. So this new solar panel that we fitted the other day has been getting loads and loads of charge all the way across here. It's been great. And we just had a look. We've now got 52 hours and 30 minutes of endurance on that battery. Fully, fully charged, 13.7 volts. Perfect. And we're off. You're in France, Harvey. Your first trip abroad. Just arrived at Le Chatelet, um, Northern Brittany, and they've given us a voucher for a, a free welcome cocktail. I'll be having both of them, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go find our pitch. Yeah. So you join us here at the second campsite here in France. We didn't film a huge amount at the first site. We had um, arrived on the ferry fairly late and then it was about a 30 or 40 minute drive further along the coast in Normandy. And we got the, the ferry into Cannes. So um, yeah, about 40 minutes along the coast of Normandy and it's a lovely site. We didn't stay there for very long because we wanted to venture further west. We wanted to head more into Brittany area which is where we are now. So we didn't stay for one night at that first campsite but like I say it's a lovely campsite. It's well worth um, visiting. Harvey had great fun at the campsite playground and there's a fantastic swimming pool as well with some huge slides but we managed to get about 15 minutes in the pool um, and we, we even tried to get a late checkout because we were really enjoying it so much but Unfortunately, we couldn't get a late checkout. Someone was due to be on our pitch straight after us. So, yeah, we had a quick 15 minutes in the pool, then quickly packed up and then headed on to Brittany, where we are now. So it's about a two and a half hour journey today. But, yeah, we made it to Brittany. And when we arrived, it was 36 degrees C here. It was absolutely roasting. So setting up the awning was, yeah, quite a chore. You know, it was really, really, really hot. Got quite a sweat on. But then we jumped in the pool here and we're here for four nights. So you'll 
you will get to see plenty of this campsite. I actually came here when I was probably, must have been about 10, something like that, 10 or 11, but I don't remember any of it, to be honest. It's probably changed a lot since then. That's going back at least 15 years or more. But we actually had quite a palaver uh, before we boarded the ferry, it was very, very tight. We nearly missed it, but I'll let Lizzie explain that. So to explain, well, I kind of wanted to explain this because it makes, maybe I can make myself seem less like an idiot. But basically, check the COVID rules before you travel anywhere because I clearly didn't. So Shauna told me, like, make sure you've got your COVID pass in the days running up to it. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it'll be fine because the last time I'd done it, the app had worked fine and I'd got my domestic COVID pass a certificate really easily but you need a travel one now and they've changed the app so that it verifies that it's you specifically and sometimes the verification for that takes seven days so i had looked at the app in the morning on the way to the ferry and realized very quickly that i needed to be verified and was taking pictures of my passport in the car but obviously it didn't happen in time so i had those little cards with me that say what jab you've had um, but they wouldn't accept that. So they were very helpful at Brittany Ferries. We had about an hour before we were due to leave the port. They gave us a location where we could pick up a test. Then I did that test. I had to get another app and uh, that verified me, but really quickly. I had to pay like 11 pounds, I think, for all of this, but it was fine in the end. But thankfully the test showed it was negative. I got the certificate through and literally with five minutes to spare, we managed to get on the ferry but we were at the very back which was quite good because it meant that the van was in the open sunlight on the boat and that meant that our battery charged very nicely so silver lining there but yeah learn your lesson from me and uh, don't mess up and check the covid rules before you travel what can you see out there that's the view out the back of the van isn't it see the sea fantastic so it's another warm one today, not quite as warm as yesterday, but we are all sun creamed up and we're gonna head down to the beach. There's a gate just at the back, which allows us access through to get to the beach. So let's go and check it out. So we've just walked down those steps. Lizzie had Harvey on her um, shoulders and I then had to dismantle the pram. We didn't realize it'd be quite as uh, treacherous to get here, but we made it, we're on the beach. You got the old faithful ridge monkey out there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It'd be better if it was in the, on the hob, in there on direct heat, really. But I'd already got this out to do the pasta, I'm having stuffed pasta with sauce and some garlic bread. But I'm using. We got this for our trip. Camping gas. I think it's called the Party Grill CV400. What I like about it, because getting the gas bottle in and out. If you want to cook outside, which is nice when it's nice weather. If you used a normal Kadak or something like that, you'd need to connect you'd have to remove your gas bottle out which is a real pain in the beach it doesn't just come out easily so you'd have to get the gas bottle out then plumb it in or carry a separate gas bottle whereas this just takes these small ones can't remember the number on them i think it's written right on the top somewhere so i think it's like a cv 470 or 407 um, but yeah it just screws in the bottom and then it all packs away really small you get um you can obviously cook directly on it so just put a pan on top you've got this great as normal if you want to do sausages and that's things. great that is you also have a hot plate so you can do it on that or on that side for burgers or eggs bacon all that kind of stuff we had burgers on this last night it was lovely and the lid that all closes down and seals it all up also doubles up as a, a wok 
and also when you're cooking like we did the burgers and some chicken on there yesterday you can close it up like a kettle barbecue so it's really good what was it 80 quid i think on amazon something like that <laughs> now I'm sure many of you are wondering where Bentley is. Um, he's with Lizzie's mum. He's playing with uh, Pilot, which is his, which is Bentley's mum, and Lily, which is his sister. Um, yeah, unfortunately, his passport lapsed during COVID because we weren't able to travel anywhere. We let it lapse, and we haven't had time to get it renewed. But also, it's just way too hot for him here. He's going to be having far more fun back home. Um, yeah, playing in the paddling pool and things like that. So, yeah, he's not with us. That's where he is, unfortunately. Uh, but just recently, over the past hour or so, the wind has really picked up here. I think there might be a bit of a storm coming, so we'll see what happens there. Well, we've decided to do a new feature on these van excursions. Sights on sight. Woo! Yesterday to what like minus two is today. <laughs> it's about 22 still. It feels like minus two when you've gone from 36. <laughs> and it's actually raining, look. You see yeah. the droplets on the awning window. But I've put the fairy lights up though. Oh good. That's the main thing. <laughs> Looks like something from um Stranger Things. It's a bit of a creepy rumble of thunder there. It wasn't me. The lights are moving lots. We were on the beach a few hours ago. So out the back of the van, obviously you can see the sea, and when the tide goes out, there's thousands of little sticks sticking up in this bay. Can anyone tell us what it is they're farming? I'm guessing it's like mussels maybe, oysters, something like that. But let us know in the comments below if you know what it is. As you can no doubt hear, it is tipping it down out there. We survived the night just about, but um, I was sleeping up the top and by 6 a.m. I had had enough and I came down and joined them in bed. But surprisingly, there, there is enough space actually for Lizzie, me and Harvey down there. If we had Bentley with us, that'd have been a bit of a different matter, I think. But um, yeah, it was pretty brutal, really windy last night. Uh, and but the the awning has survived it has just about survived there's been a little bit of water getting in in the corners it's not got a sewn in ground sheet this one I have to dodge the fairy lights They're all over the place but yeah it's not got a sewn in, sewn in ground sheet this one so you do get a little bit of water come in in parts but it has been torrential rain so but you can see chucking it down Because the weather's rubbish. But they've covered it up. And it's really oh it's really warm in here as well. So this is the place to be when it's freezing outside. But let's get in the water. Let's yes. go. Thank you. 
Since the weather has vastly improved, we decided to walk the 20 minutes from our campsite into the local town, St Castle Gildo, and explore what it has to offer. How did you get out? The barrier's still there. That was quite creepy. <laughs> I wish I'd filmed it because I, I bought something for my mum and then they shut the, the gate behind me and so I was trying to leave and she just goes and I thought, <laughs> oh god, what have I done wrong? And I've been round all the back of the pharmacy. Have they shut, have they? They must have done, but there's loads of people in the back and there's loads, it's like, it's so large back there. <laughs> there's so many different tunnels and things and I went through one door and then there was still another door and so I had to go through, it was yeah, honestly, and because I don't speak the language, it was especially creepy. I was like, where am I going? <laughs> <laughs> taken a wander further up the, the promenade which is absolutely gorgeous you know it's right by the water and the tide is right in I think you could probably get cut off if you weren't careful uh, but we've come along to a little marina well I say little it's actually quite big um, marina and we're sat outside we're gonna have some mool ifrit some mussels with chips my favorite this is favorite and Harvey's gonna have an omelette but yeah what a what a setting and typically it's got absolute roasting all of a sudden which is good. Well, since having lunch, the weather has improved massively. It's absolutely gorgeous here, lovely and warm. There's a few people in the sea as well. Not sure if it's that warm, but it's, yeah, it's lovely now. Just arrived back at the van it was a lovely walk down to the town uh, but it's roasting now so we're going to jump in the pool In total, we'd spent four nights at Camping Le Chatelet and really loved it there. We actually got the four nights for free as part of a deal when we bought our ferry tickets through the Caravan and Motorhome Club, so that made a lovely saving. But it was time to head further south to a campsite near Benaday called Camping Duletti. But first, a few quick stops en route. You've got to try McDonald's when you're in France. Look at the play area. Harvey thinks this is brilliant. But, uh, yeah. There's no way I can chase them around there, and God knows what we've ordered as well, so we shall see.
So we've just arrived in um, Camping Duletti, which is in southern Brittany, and uh, we've just we've actually um, gone for one of these pitches that has its own little private toilet, which is great when you've got a little van like ours. It's got a shower in there. It's got um, washing up facilities, but we'll show you all that later. It's, we just now need to work out where we're going to position the van on the pitch, which is enormous actually. The pitch is huge. Look at the size of that. Yeah, massive, so let's work out where to put that. What's cooking? I'll just find some chicken, or stir frying some chicken, cooking some chicken. We arrived fairly late, well, re re relatively late, but so we need to get some dinner on fairly quickly. So we're going to do some chicken with sauce and some rice. Should be nice, but this is brilliant. This is so good. Just don't get any of the smells in the van. Not that that's really bothered us in the past, really. But um, yeah, everything's out here. It's good because the camp's all set up, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it looks yeah. great. Oh, just ignore that bit, but you know. The next day. So we have stopped at another campsite. We're here for five nights this time and it's called Laletti and it is in southern, where are we again? Southern Brittany. It's because I don't plan the route so I never really pay that much attention. I just go along with the ride. But um, as you can see, we've set up camp behind us and I'll give you a quick tour through the camp, hopefully before it rains. because I don't know if you can hear, but we've got more storms on the way. So as you can see, we're fully set up with the Hexaway again from Van Gogh. That is a fantastic awning that we've got. It's not got an inner lining, it's just got the normal just outer lining, but it just shelters us from the rain. We've just bought this that we bought from the campsite shop just to try and stop Harvey from escaping because he's got a habit of running off at the moment. Since he's only one, it's quite hard to stop him. So we're working on it. <laughs> it's a work in progress. Obviously, we've got the camper van there. So that is our pitch. But we've also got this little wander here, which is, I'll show you around later, but that's actually our own private shower and toilet facility. And it's even got cleaning up facilities there too. So that is really helpful because we can store a few bits in there too. So that's brilliant. But as you can see, we've tried to trap Harvey in, in this area, but he does try to get around it, doesn't he, still? But... I mean, as a result, because we've got the chairs out here, there's tons of space in here at the moment. And because we've been storing stuff inside, like the car seat and the pram's just out there at the moment, we've got loads of floor space, which is just covered in Harvey's toys. Why is that, Harvey? So on this side, you will see that we have a little outdoor camping unit. This is quite new. It's from Out Sunny. And I attach to the side a like hanging unit just so that we've got like utensils, like access to that. But that has been fantastic as storage for food and it's all enclosed. So things like animals can't get into it. And obviously we still close up all the food inside it as well, just to make doubly sure. But it does help having a table. We've got our, we've got our anti-mosquito unit there. there. There doesn't seem to be too much of a mosquito problem, but I have a real issue with being bitten by mosquitoes. I have a really bad reaction to it. So just being super careful. Then we've obviously got our camping table out here, which we've got our water canister on. And underneath that is one of those white units that we used to use before for camping, but we don't really use it as much now, but that's quite good for traveling and things like that. All the bags are at the side for our clothes. And then of course, where else would you leave your toilet except right in the middle of the uh, camp, right next to the actual toilet? Sean's just uh, emptied and refilled that toilet, so that's why it's just sat there at the moment. But we still put it inside the camper van at night time, just in case someone needs to go out. This family's going to be disappointed when they realise they can't get any further. We're basically in a cul-de-sac where we are, so you can't actually get any further. Right, so we've got our clothes down here at the moment. And then we keep going and we are in the actual camper van. So Harvey here is just playing, aren't you? You having fun? Hi. And you'll notice that we've got the fridge inside here. So, 
filled with food at the moment. Now actually that's been a brilliant idea. So there is a 12 volt plug that we can put that into just over there. And it's been so convenient keeping it there. And the best part is we can actually leave it in there overnight. So when the bed is pulled out, that enormous bed, it doesn't really come that close to the fridge. It's quite good. It really only comes to about here. So it's been really useful. When we previously camped, uh, we had the fridge in the back, but the issue is the 12 volt plug is at the side. And every time you pull the fridge out to access it and put it back in, um, it, it knocks that 12 volt socket. And we, after we'd been on the ferry, we must have got the fridge out to put stuff in and put it back in again. I realised that it knocked it and it actually switched the fridge off. Thankfully, because it's a bit of a cool box, it stayed fairly cold. But yeah, there are quite a few times where we put the fridge back in and it switched it off. So it's not it's not that great storing it in the back. Unless you've got it cut the only thing in there, it's fine because you could leave it sort of over to the side. But yeah, it's much better having it in here. Well, plus, we access it more, don't we? We actually like get a lot of water out of it and that yeah. kind of thing. So it makes much more sense just having it in here, I think. And when we make the bed up, Harvey goes to bed earlier than us, us obviously, but uh, not much earlier, surprisingly. <laughs> um, he tires Is that right? Out. He tires us out massively, but at least then um, we can still get stuff out of the fridge, whereas we'd have to slam the back door, the tailgate, uh, every time we shut it, if, we, if the fridge was in the back. So it, it works really well here, actually. It so. does work well. So then of course we've got the uh, opening at the front there. We've not opened the screen fully at the moment. And then there is the bed up here, which is where Sean is sleeping. I won't pull it down at the moment. And then me and Harvey are in the downstairs bed together. But then we've also added, this is a brand rup uh, mosquito screen cover. Sean's just getting more sangria. More sangria. <laughs> so yeah, we've got the brand rup mosquito screen cover which is quite clever so it's a zip here it's actually stuck on with velcro but the velcro there we go but the velcro pieces are the same color as the side and even changes color down the bottom look at that that's pretty clever but we weirdly didn't get a screen cover it was in a mosquito cover for this window with the beach which is very odd. And that screen cover to buy is about 100 quid, whereas this was a little bit less expensive, like 60 odd pounds, something like that. I got it from Camper Fantastic. So uh, I can always put a link in the description below if anyone else is interested in getting it from Camper Fantastic. This is not an ad, we just really like using them. But it's got a zip here. And so you still have access to opening the window more. And then you can zip it up again. And you've got a really good screen cover there. So I wanted that because at night time, it's nice to have a bit of a breeze coming through. But it's a shame that we didn't get the uh, thing that slots in, but because we didn't get it, I decided to buy one. And this was cheaper, like I say, so. That's better though. I think That's this better, is better, isn't it? Because it, it's, the other Good one's one. quite a faff. Whereas, one, when it, if you've got the window open, you can actually slide it back if you're outside. Yeah. You slide it back by hand, whereas that's better. Yeah. Um, you can't really access it. I mean, obviously it's Velcro, so people could get in anyway, but it's not really about that, is it? It's just nice that it's completely secure because I think there were gaps for the other one anyway. So this is, this is a really clever design. I'm pretty happy with it. You don't need to worry about storing. Did you, I don't, with the old one, I don't think you could fully shut the window, could you? Uh, you have to take it out to yeah, you did, the and it would fit in the drawer. But the drawers in this van, let me show you, are much smaller than in the ocean or in the beach that's only got the two seats. But because this is a three seat version, we've got these little drawers and they just pull out like that. The camper van inside, so they're much smaller, and that, that wouldn't actually fit the um mosquito cover. So that's another reason why we got that instead. Where are you off to? He likes to press the SOS button. Did that the other day, yeah, didn't he? Did. Yeah, whilst I was sort of underneath the awning trying to put it up. So I had to quickly scramble out to stop it. If you, have, you It comes up with an alert saying, the SOS button has been pressed. Press it again to cancel. I'm going, oh my God. Yeah, we're in the middle of putting up the awning. Good timing, really. <laughs> <laughs> So of course as well, we have our very clever
mini kitchen unit, which we have used occasionally. We are using an outdoor um, gas cooker as well, but obviously for the morning and that kind of thing, cups of tea and things, we've been using this and it is really, really good. And it's good just as a table, but I also like the fact that because this top bit is metal, you can pretty much shut it straight away. And with having a one-year-old running around, it's nice to be able to sort of shut that so that he can't burn himself. Because apparently you have to have eyes in the back of your head when you have children. It's pretty annoying. Sean! What? Come back here. What? Go start cooking for us then. <laughs> I'm going to. <laughs> So while Sean cooks us some dinner, I'll give you a tour of our own private bathroom facilities. Outside you've got your own sink and drying area, then as you head inside you'll see there's a barbecue, which costs extra if you wish to use it. Your large enclosed shower is then on the left, and behind that is a storage area where we kept the car seat. And there's also a large fridge that again if you wish to use you'd need to pay extra for. Across from that there's a lovely sink and mirror and even more storage. Then I love the fact the toilet is actually in a separate room to the shower so someone can be brushing their teeth while you've still got some privacy using the loo. All in all this has to be one of the best pitches we've ever stayed on and I'd definitely use these facilities again. We paid around 60 euros per night here which we thought was reasonable but let us know in the comments what you think. So we've just been for a little drive, uh, detached the driveway awning and we've driven to a little town just along the coast called Concarno, I think it is. Probably spelled, probably said completely wrong, no doubt, but it's like a fortified um, centre to it. So let's go and have a look. Well, I'm uh, very excited because this is a little bit Game of Thronesy. <laughs> it's really pretty. It's really pretty. I love these sorts of finds. I mean, we didn't like come here thinking that this was here. We just looked at what was nearby to the campsite, and this is what we found. Well, we got some treats from a tapas place and they are absolutely gorgeous looking so that's going to be our lunch today in this beautiful square here this is like a pancetta one with uh, mozzarella and sun-dried tomatoes and olives oh it did have no. sun-dried tomatoes <laughs> on it <laughs> it's got something underneath but i don't know what it is <laughs> oh it's got like a pate underneath oh it's really good Oh, it's lovely. a little bit out of town but 
no ticket. <laughs> so there weren't any signs to say no. we couldn't park here. So it's a, just around the corner. It's like that way and that way to town. It's really busy in the car parks. We tried to get them on the car parks, but it's worked out really well. We're a little bit out of town, but um, well, not out of town. It's still a ten-minute walk. But um, yeah, just around the corner, everyone's got parking permits and stuff like that. So it's a bit like, are we in the right place or not? But results not been towed. We've not had a ticket. <laughs> Well, the site gives you access to an adventure play place like that's right at the entrance and that's for free. It was mental and I think like, I mean, we've been to a lot back in the UK. The French do it a million times different to what the UK does. There was a little English kid who got um, trapped somewhere. We're just not used to it, clearly. But uh, yeah, lots of fun, but maybe not quite for a one-year-old. <laughs> After all that mayhem, it was time to have a little relax on the beach, right by our pitch. Come for the day to Quimper, and we've actually found a free car park. We nearby. think it's free. There's no signs. There's no meters or anything. But but the other car park that we tried was 35 euros for three hours. Yeah, yeah it must have been a very short stay. It's uh, free for 15 minutes, but then if yeah, if you wanted um, any extra, it just rocketed in price up to 35 euros. For... That's mad. We're not paying that. No. So this we're now, free. and we're, we're just up the road as well. We're not, we're not far away. By the river. Yeah, we're not far at all. We're closer than the other car park but as well. We had to do a, a few laps to wait for someone to leave, but yeah. we're sorted, aren't we? Mm -hmm. You are the golden sun that shines up on me. Never left on sun. the cathedral here and there's a nice little square that's got lots of creperies all around it and so we've decided to sit in because it drizzled a little bit and this has got the most incredible umbrella it's like four umbrellas held by one post i know it sounds stupid but that is powerful me and sean have both had a savory crepe with eggs and cheese and sausage and harvey's had a little ham and cheese one and he's absolutely loving it so obviously he really likes french food but um very nice service it's really nice place and what a location it's absolutely beautiful here mm -hmm. what have you got there onion lemon oh. mm -mm -mm. No 
well I love places that are a little bit weird and wonderful so the Rose Bunker Cool and Recycled oh what a cool shop absolutely loved it bought some really random stuff as well my favorite had to be the random box of um, heads of things don't really understand but I bought one of course I did I must say this city is full of surprises. There's these beautiful gardens dotted around. This is absolutely stunning. What a lovely place for a walk. It has started to rain a little bit, but you know, when it's this pretty, who cares? I don't even know where Sean and Harvey have gone. I've been too busy filming. So uh, wish me luck getting back. <laughs> well, I found them, but uh, we're both soaked. And I say both, Harvey is dry because he was the only one with a waterproof and he's got his pram. So he's quite happy but we're both soaked and my bag broke but nothing got broken we're all good almost there I can see the camper van Damp, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> Good parking though, for free. And it was only about a 10 minute walk, whereas the £35 for three hours car park was um, about a 17 minute walk. So we've saved ourselves both time and money. Turns out the pop top is a perfect place with the opening at the front to watch some of the kite surfing that's going on over there. It's really good and we're slightly protected from the rain here so it's not actually coming in so I can actually open it up which is lovely so yeah really good. We're just nipping off to get campsite pizza because neither of us can be bothered to cook tonight but I'm a little bit annoyed that my jacket here they sell all over France like in every tourist store going i got this from jules for like 50 quid ages ago and now it just looks like i bought it at a tourist outlet typical of <laughs> <laughs> tourist outlet <laughs> uh, i can't speak Flash, 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 flash. Broke my arm in December. We were running for the thrill. You turned in the canyon to the snowbank where I fell. We finally got our takeaway pizza, burgers. Lots of chips. It opens at half six though, doesn't it? So we had to go to the bar first. As you do. Join us. 
So this is our last day at this campsite and then tomorrow we take the ferry back. Um, but we're just taking a little walk into the town which is Porker and it's beautiful. Look at the beach behind me. It's fast. And we just need to get a few supplies because we've run out of nappies which was smart on our part. So we're just popping to the local supermarket. Well, those might be the most expensive nappies ever at like 16 euros which is crazy just for one bag of nappies but needs must No, pizzas are always good. The view behind you is beautiful. But the cheeseburger sounds quite good as well. <laughs> oh, poor Harvey. What's Daddy doing? Well, we've had a really lovely lunch and had an explore of some of the uh, nice little places around here. We're a bit terrified though because in the distance there's an absolutely massive storm and I hope it's not heading this way but it might well be so we're going to try and race back now. We've managed to get back to the campsite but it has just started spitting a bit with rain and the campsite is quite vast so it might take us a bit of time to get from one end to the other so we're a little bit scared of getting absolutely drenched. Our pitch is like the furthest away from the the entrance. Yeah, so. it's number five our pitch, but it's it must be like right at the very very end, and these must be like number two hundred or something. It is a big campsite. I pull into your driveway. It's a Saturday night. You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like. You're smiling, but there's something missing in your eyes. Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind. But I will make you forget all your sorrows. Let go like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a drink, just relax. All your problems will fade. If you're ready for a good time, count on me. There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. Do you know? Last night, and we've got some crepes. Crepes. Been on the hot plate. They're just reheating them, really. Oh, look how good that flip was. <laughs> that was incredible. That's all right, isn't it? <laughs> will make you forget all your sorrows let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a...
boost your car collection. 10 Hot Wheels cars. Arriving back in Portsmouth marked the end of this incredible trip. If you've enjoyed this series, please consider subscribing to the channel as it really helps us bring you more campervan travels, tours, self-build and equipment videos. And of course we brought Bentley back a present from our trip. See you next time. Cheers!